All right, so I'm here in the newest Minecraft snapshot, and I am immediately in love with it. I immediately really love this cherry blossom petal effect. This is... there needs to be more stuff like this added to the game, I think. Okay, yeah, I love this update. This is amazing. Oh my god, I'm... why did they not add this earlier? Do you know how much of a mild inconvenience it was to have to make flight duration 3 rockets in creative mode? What I'm really here for, though, is to test out this new block right here, the calibrated skulk sensor. When I first heard about the calibrated skulk sensor, I was immediately interested because of its massive detection range. This has a lot of potential right here. Just for comparison purposes, here is the detection range of the calibrated skulk sensor versus the detection range of the ordinary skulk sensor. As you can see, this one is a lot bigger. Now this is really, really important for traps, and I'll show you why. So here's a really simple proximity detection mine. So basically when that skulk sensor detects something happening within its detection range, it's going to send a signal to that piston which will push those TNT minecarts. So if I were to drop down right here, as you can see, a very quick explosion. The problem comes up when we now try to hide those redstone mechanics inside of a little box like this. As you can see, the box now takes up most of the skulk sensor's detection radius, and it doesn't leave a whole lot of room for actual detection. If I were to, say, fly into this detection sphere, I'd have to either fly in through the bottom or through this side right here in order to activate the trap. It's incredibly unlikely that anyone would actually go close enough to the box in order to set off the trap within. Calibrated Skulk Sensor solves that issue because now, even though the trap is encased within a large box, there's still plenty of detection area available on all sides. This is actually really important because it actually revolutionizes anti elytra technology. Here's something I was able to make using it. So, here I am in survival mode. As you can see, I'm wearing full protection for netherite armor aside from the elytra, of course. And just to demonstrate what this thing is going to do, I'm just going to go ahead and fly up here and just hold down spamming rockets flying a pretty good distance away from this thing. And as soon as I get over the TNT, well, yeah, it doesn't end too well for me. Keep in mind that this thing is detecting anything that enters this area right here. It's really big, quite simple, and 100% reliable. And what's even better is we can actually expand this. If we add just a few more modules to this, you can now see that it is capable of covering a massive area. Just keep in mind that anyone who flies through any of these red circles will be annihilated. The mechanics behind these things are incredibly simple, and honestly these can be built by pretty much anyone. We need this little strip here to provide a slight delay because the Skulk sensor doesn't detect the player immediately. By the time the player has ended up over in this location, this Skulk sensor is just now getting that signal. That's going to send it down this strip instantly and ignite these. You can see how fast the whole system is if I just place a redstone block right here. It's practically instant. If you want to, you can even cover up these systems with random blocks just to make them look harmless and unassuming. But they're still just as deadly. 